Hey, everybody, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's weekly forecast. My name is Terrence Scardino. The week begins on Monday, May the 15th, the first full day of Mercury going direct. It's been retrograde since April the 21st. But Mercury is moving very slowly because last night, Pacific time, it was at a stationary or it was appearing not to be moving at all. So today it's slowly starting to move forwards. Think of it as your mental faculties, your confidence, your sharpness is still slow. It's moving in the right direction. Maybe you just, you're just not feeling confident enough to really assert yourself. Now, there's going to be a new moon on Friday, and the new moon begins a new monthly cycle. So the one rule of thumb you've heard me talk about once a month is not to make any important decisions or launch important projects the week before a new moon, because that's the week of closure, of the last new moon energy winding down and not yet ready for the energy to start amping up, which is this Friday, plus Mercury still has uh, needs time to be catching up to its regular speed, so your mental faculties are quicker and sharper. Now, overall, this week, is a lot of, it's very active, mostly positive. On Monday the 15th, the moon that sets the public tone is in fiery initiative Aries. You may be feeling really impatient, but this is a, like get on with your projects, but this is still the time to uh, do your due diligence, to just research, to rest, it's not yet time to really go for it. And assertive Mars, the ruler of Aries, by the way, will be in harmony with Neptune. Ne Mars Neptune can be very favorable for healing work, for charity. On a completely different level, could be very favorable for yoga, for swimming, for dancing. So it's a very positive energies um, that's trying to get out there. And a lot of it was helping those in need. On Tuesday, the Jupiter that's been in um, Aries since last year, Jupiter is going into Taurus, and it will remain there through May of 2024. Jupiter is the Santa Claus of the Zodiac, if you will, and Saturn is the taskmaster. Jupiter it brings abundance, optimism, opportunity. Jupiter is moving into Taurus, and so where Taurus falls in your chart, there could be more abundance over the next 12 months. One thing about Taurus, it's very materialistic, and Jupiter can, bring, can indicate prosperity. So this is a really good economic cycle overall. On Wednesday, the moon at 528 a.m. Pacific time enters into Taurus and immediately within that neck, well, right there and over that next two hours, the moon in Taurus will be aligning with Jupiter in Taurus. So the moon represents those emotional reactions and needs and crossing Jupiter once a month that brings in a lot of optimism. Um, you might be feeling uh, more uplifted for educational plans, travel plans. That's all under the domain of Jupiter. 
But Jupiter, now at zero degrees of Taurus, is squaring or forming a 90 degree angle to Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. Been talking a lot about Pluto. It went to zero degrees of Aquarius from the end of March to the beginning of June, where it's then retrograding back into Capricorn, then not going back into Aquarius till next January. But when Jupiter is at zero Taurus, it's in this major square push to Pluto at zero Aquarius. This is that Pluto is this strong desire and um, this compelling driven obsessive energies being triggered by Jupiter. So there's a lot of desire to really expand and go for it towards your, uh, achieving your goals. Thursday, the 18th, the moon continues in steady Taurus. By late afternoon, it's going to cross over unexpected, unpredictable Uranus. Now that can bring some unexpected shock or surprises, but it's also very favorable for getting out of any stuck routine habit, especially with the, uh, the sun in Taurus will be in harmony with inspirational Neptune. Sun Neptune could be a very favorable day for inspiration, for spirituality, for healing, for music. Taking us into Friday the 19th is the new moon. And the new moon is at 28 degrees of Taurus, right at the end of Taurus. Um, and immediately the moon goes into Gemini at 11.48 a.m. Pacific time for those next two and a half days. But the new moon in Taurus is really drawing our attention, our focus. Um, Taurus is all that material security. It can be a lot of sensuality. But wherever Taurus falls in your horoscope, how it impacts your sun sign, that energy is going to be um, uh, uh, focused for these next four weeks. But then at 11.48 a.m. Pacific time, the moon goes out of slow and steady and determined Taurus and goes into more witty, restless, chatty Gemini. A good, a good sign for the weekend, for networking and socializing and hanging out with friends. So on Saturday, as the moon continues in Gemini, assertive Mars will be in opposition to Pluto. Now, this can go two ways because the opposition can be this confrontation and Mars can be very ego oriented and Pluto can be all this compulsiveness. So on a more dark side, if you will, this could trigger some intense ego disputes. In the positive, it's giving you this tremendous drive and motivation. And on a mundane level, Pluto is, can be about construction, breaking down, transforming, rebuilding. And Mars is that, uh, is that energy that, yes, it's very assertive, but Mars wants to fix things. So this could be a very energized day, Saturday, for, yes, accomplishing goals, but for doing home repairs, beginning a construction uh, project. On Sunday, the sun, the first half of the day, Pacific time, the first half is where it's the strongest, where the sun is in harmony with Pluto. So it's putting a real focus on all these big changes like home repairs and constructions. But on a deeper level, Pluto rules the unconscious, the inner psyche, and that sun, excellent with Pluto, is good for introspection, for research, good for counseling, good for an astrology reading. Then as we get more to the 
middle of the day, Pacific time, um, that sun is still in harmony with Pluto. But now the sun is even stronger to the Mars. Because remember on Saturday, the Mars and the Pluto were in opposition. But on Sunday, the sun is bringing harmony. So the, the best of that Mars-Pluto. Um, so the last half of Sunday, Pacific time, is when the sun is in harmony with Mars, being um, motivated, aggressive, assertive. So the whole weekend is, especially Sunday, is really favorable for accomplishing a great deal of, of uh, projects. So I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe and well.